Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. I'm John Simmerman and I am in Charlotte, North Carolina for the Strong Towns National Gathering and the 31st meeting of the Congress for the New Urbanism. And uh, this video is going to be just an easy ride along video uh, showing you my first real glimpse at the rail trail system here uh, along the light rail tracks and uh, the old historic uh, trolley line, I believe. Uh, so uh, yeah, just sit back and relax. Uh, there won't be There'll be a little bit of commentary here and there, but for the most part, this is just kind of a ride along uh, to sort of ease our way into uh, the environment here in Charlotte. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Okay, we're rolling down Park Avenue here. Um, we're at South Boulevard and we're gonna roll on to the uh, rail trail right up ahead. And Park Avenue is kind of a lightly traveled street i think it's considered a bicycle friendly street no real calming traffic calming features to it flower child restaurant saw that earlier I'll definitely want to check that out at some point in time. Get a good view of the downtown area here. more restaurants and other establishments right along the uh, the rail and trail corridor here And you can see we've got a nice rainbow art installation all along this stretch here. <laughs> and you can pretty much tell that uh, this is an area that uh, could really benefit from a wider trail. It's definitely well used. A lot of different uh, types of users on it probably a good four to five feet would be quite nice and that's even saying this because it's it does exist on the other side too uh, at this stage on the other side there it's a little narrower but it does get wider up here see it over there and this is the Carson station on the Lynx light rail line yeah clearly some construction over on that side now we may need to be diverting to the left I hope I haven't missed it one would expect let's see here where it takes place So 
so literally we are coming to the end of the rail trail as a pathway a formalized pathway and that is the interstate it's a real shame they weren't able to somehow create a cantilevered path over the interstate maybe in the future but we have to take the moorhead diversion over here there is really no signage no wayfinding to indicate that hey if you want to get downtown you need to head up this direction on this little pathway right here Yeah, so this is the, uh, the diversion that we have to take to continue so we can get on the other side of the interstate to get to the downtown area. stop and check the map to make sure I'm on the right route okay yes I am indeed on the right route so yeah pretty much we lose our trail we gets turned into a bike lane here and you see the improved sidewalk there and this is a major interstate we're rolling over As you can tell, there were just so many cars over there. We need an interstate. This is a really interesting improved pedestrian realm right here. I might actually take this just to see what it's like. So this is really just sort of fronting the interstate area here and it looks like it's definitely an improved pedestrian realm very very wide super wide and my destination is right there at the west end And again, we are at the Westin. This is the location of the conference. So let's go back this way. Looks like our bike lane is pretty much ending. So far I have seen no wayfinding to get us back to the rail trail. So let's see if I, if I can find something. Okay, yeah, so literally, we're retracing back in this direction to get back to the rail trail. It's 
see there's a bunch of uh, markings here. But yeah, there it is. Look at this. <laughs> they carved it in. There's not much. There's your We Love the Rail Trail. And it's a tiny little thing, but this will get us back to the trail. And it's at Moorhead. Alright, so there you go. Have to remember that, especially late at night. <laughs> Let's go uh, right on the other side for a little bit. Kind of cool, you can see the little swings here that are set up. It's very cool. And again, lots and lots of residential units residential buildings all along this transit corridor and again not just a TOD for transit oriented development but it's also a trail so it's a trail oriented development and you can see our rainbow art installation extends on both sides of the trail here Rather nice. We're gonna add some color. And again some some funky and fun restaurants over here. Let's zigzag back over to the other side of the trail. And earlier I came down that little stretch right there, straight ahead. I'm gonna zoom over here to the left, which is the main through traffic for the trail. That is, in fact, the transit line transit station. Got some nice outdoor dining. Looks like we're a ramen place there. Okay, we're at Park Avenue, which is uh, where we rolled onto the trail. So, uh, what do you say? Let's continue down this way. There's definitely a lot fewer people out right now. We're getting close to, oh, it's 5.15. So maybe folks are getting close to settling in for dinner. It is Monday, Memorial Day. So, folks may be settling in got some interesting buildings here it looks like this is potentially the Lowe's headquarters so how's that for having your headquarters right on a transit line and right on a trail well done so we're gonna go real slowly through this construction area here they've got a little pedestrian tunnel built for us there's probably going to be some pedestrians coming through so we'll go real slow
and as you can tell we're at the East West Boulevard station and we see the design center of the Carolinas And Jenny's Ice Cream, Hawker's Asian Street Fair, some other fun stuff. And this is considered the South End area. And let's head over this way and uh, be part of the count because there's an eco counter, a bike traffic counter. And you'll see number of trail users. Well, we were yeah. the pottery, but it was good to run into you. Yeah, that's nice running into yeah. you. Yeah. 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 yeah, a little recognition there. Great places in North Carolina. And you can see on this side, um, very much more generous in terms of the size of the trail, except for this pinch point right here. But it immediately widens back out. Very much needed. And across the way over here is a really cool public space. They blocked it off to motor vehicle traffic. And that's a really cool looking restaurant and drinking establishment, pub. There's really a lot of fun businesses, restaurants all along this area. And once again, a lot of construction too, as you can see. fun but you can definitely tell I mean this is very much an all ages and abilities facility especially in these areas that are wider and I was just commenting earlier how it seemed like there were a lot fewer people out but now on this side a little further down you can see that it is quite crowded there's a lot of people Again, lots of walkers, lots of runner, runners, lots of folks walking their dogs. Now that the rail train has gone by, just listen to this. What are we missing? We're not hearing cars. And again, you can just see all the new construction, more residential units, more restaurants, more businesses of all types going into the area along the corridor here. Really, it's just quite pleasant. Such a joy. In areas, it's a bit too narrow and needs to be widened 
to the best of their ability. Um, you know, it's, it's certainly a pedestrian first area. And that's fine. From what I can tell, many of the streets in the neighborhood are very, very comfortable to ride on. The motor vehicle speeds and volumes are pretty low. And so that really makes it conducive for a comfortable ride. So these are all apartments. And as she just said, these are all apartments through here. I did see some condominiums as well being developed, but I would guess from some of the names on them, I'm seeing some national apartment complex names. And so some of the big players of providing multifamily housing are in play here. And again, in this section, we do have trail on both sides. We'll stick to this side because it looked like there was a fun art installation in the trail up ahead. I wanted to see that. And take a look at this. Very cool. Very much bringing up the image of a Native American rug, tapestry. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna swing on over to the other side. Get a sense as to what this side is like for a while. And it looked wider. Oh, and in fact, it does not continue on that side. So good thing I jumped over. I did not see wayfinding sending me this direction. I just sort of do it and did it intuitively. So we're now on a an asphalt section. This is one of the first asphalt sections we've been on. Most of what we've been rolling along has been concrete. Some tile work, but mostly concrete. Yeah, be careful here. A little irregularity there. And are we at the end? is the question or does this continue it continues again not much in the way of wayfinding guess they just assume you'll find your way as you can tell we've got uh, a bunch of poles in the middle here so it looks like this has just been an afterthought of trying to extend the trail through here after these light poles were already established and apparently it made more sense to just do the trail around the light poles than train change the light poles Bit of a rough transition there. But following the green paint on these crossings and our little wayfinding doodad right there, looks like we're heading the right direction.
And here we go. We're continuing. We're now mostly going along a strode, which is along the railroad line. And we're pretty much just on sort of a sidewalk here. Lots more construction. You can probably notice that we have a much different feel out this way. We are no longer in what I would consider sort of the, the city center area. Getting out into a part of town that I would describe as sort of a rough sort of industrial area that is starting to get some uh, new housing coming in. You can see some cranes over there. See off to the right here in just a moment. Now leasing this uh, apartment complex again right along the trail right along the transit but definitely more of an industrial feel out here I would suspect that in a few years this will all get redone and here we go okay so as you can tell this is the end of the actual rail trail although they have a bike lane on either side and if you look over that direction, you'll see how they have created sort of the connection to get you over here to the rail trail. And uh, what I'll do just for uh, shits and grins is I'll uh, ride down that way, do U-turn and make that transition for you all. So let's go do it. So again, we've lost our rail trail. Got just a simple painted bike lane here. Looks like we've got some uh, brew pub action over here, which is kind of what you'd expect to see in this type of neighborhood. sort of up and coming but the pricing is still reasonably cheap for a brewery to get started okay let's do this u-turn and do that transition that's kind of creative <laughs> okay here so here's this little transition now clearly you didn't have to do this the only reason they are doing this is so that it sets the person up on a bike for being perpendicular to the motor vehicle traffic and getting onto the trail obviously we could have just merged over and taken a left we didn't have to do that whole thing so 
it was still quite comfortable. I do want to point out here that uh, you see that new apartment complex that we passed earlier. It is a very short walk to the closest transit line stop, which is right here. Um, I'll swing on up so we can get the name of this. It is the Scaly Bark stop. So, yeah. Just uh, very, very convenient right down the way there. You can see the integration with some of the local bus service to the Scaly Bark transit stop there as well. So folks can do a transfer. And yet again, more new multi-use buildings. First floor retail, restaurants, and lots and lots of apartments. I'm not really sure what those big discs are. I wonder if they're part of mining. There's quite a few of them here. There's another one over here. Yeah, look at that. Another mystery I need to figure out. Okay, earlier I said that I missed the uh, turn and had mentioned there should be better wayfinding. Well, guess what? There was wayfinding. I just missed it. I was looking at that green right there, and so I missed the arrow indicating, oh yeah, you need to turn that way to get to the other side of the track. So. And again, this is a little art installation here. I, I like that. Very nice. See total users, 26,765, pretty extraordinary. 
Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this uh, ride along video, my first of the Charlotte visit here for CNU and the Strong Towns National Gathering. And if you did enjoy it, please remember, give it a thumbs up, <laughs> leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and be sure to ring the notifications bell. Uh, well, until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.